Um, good afternoon today. Um, during the first couple of rounds, you started off a little slow. Um, tell me a little bit what was going through your head through the last um, round. Around seven and eight, he started warming up, and they called the draw. What are your thoughts on that? Empezaste un poco frío, pero ya empezaste a calentar, y y y que tú que que eso tú pensaste todo eso. Nada, empezó el frío porque es una pelea de dos rounds y el cuerpo va calentando a partir de lo a partir de que pasa cuatro rounds el cuerpo va calentando y eso fue lo que fui diciendo, fui subiendo el nivel poco a poco. Y se no, you know, obviously it's a 12 round fight, so he started cold, you know, but he he started getting a little hot. He thought he he started he was still winning the rounds and he started to turn it up. He was gonna stop him late, but that was part of the game plan was to move him around a bit and then start taking up the pace, you know, the next few rounds. Um, he called you a dirty fighter. What are your thoughts on that? Um, there's obviously some some beef going on, and you know, are you guys for the rematch? Se llama un peleador sucio que tú crees eso y si está buscando la revancha. Eso es. Un peleador un peleador sucio. Tengo todos los boxeos de los 12 años. Nunca en mi vida me ha quitado un punto por que por alguna decisión sucia que he tomado. Yo creo que lo que quiso fue apagar una falta. No tiene corazón, es pendejo. Yeah, he says nothing. You know, he he started boxing at 12 years old. He's got over 300 amateur fights and 20 pro fights. He's never been deducted a point for so. So I mean, he, to say he's dirty doesn't make sense. And he thinks he was just looking for a way out. He got hit with the, the head bunny. He's looking for a way out. You know, he's just starting to get to. What I want to know is, he's clearly Cuban, right? He came out in Mexican colors or Italian colors. Um, are you guys throwing? That somebody, are you guys trying to call somebody out with the poncho eh, and the colors? Te, los colores era el color mexicano, tú eres cubano, eh, explícalo eso un poco. Esos colores, que eran los colores mexicanos, son los colores porque los mexicanos me apoyan en Twitter, me apoyan a nivel mundial, en Facebook, en el barco. Los cubanos que me apoyan, los mexicanos que me apoyan, en todo el mundo que me apoya, eso fue una, como si fuera una, un agradecimiento para ellos por tenerme el apoyo que tienen hacia mí. He says, you know, he came out with the Mexican colors because he's got a lot of fans and a lot of people on Twitter and just sending him mail from Mexico and all over the world, basically showing him a lot of love. So he wanted to show a little bit of love back to them. And also, it's Christmas coming up, so Christmas colors for all the Latins and all the Cubans out in the world. Um, my last question. What does the future hold for Lara here? Seguir trabajando y seguir para adelante, no es más nada. Uh -huh. hay, una, hay un futuro por delante todavía, hay buenas peleas todavía que vienen por ahí y estamos ready todavía para un futuro. Hey, no. He's ready for a big, for big bright future. You know, we're going to go back to the table, we're going to talk to Al, Al Heyman and Richard Schaefer. And we're going to find good plans for Laura. He's still the best in the division and we're going to look forward to fighting the best guys out there. Last question. Canelo's name has been thrown around. What are you guys working on around there? Are, do you think that he's ready? Um, What's going on with Canelo? 100% he's ready. He's ready for Canelo, whoever else in the 154-pound division. So, so you know, he's just going to get a nice rest with his family and then take some time off and then be ready right back in the gym to, you know, to kick some ass. Bueno, Lara, gracias mucho por tu tiempo. Que te vaya bien, hijo. Gracias. Mejor el ojo.